Let's face it, the future belongs to the young. Sure, they sometimes get up in your grill, <laughs> but all in all, they're generally very crunk. Please welcome the young and the hip, Sam Easton. Canada, but it's tough being a white boy on these streets. <laughs> yeah. Like a lot of white boys in my generation, I'm not just entitled to live off my parents, I'm also a rapper. <laughs> You've probably heard of me, I go by the name of White Cheddar. Yeah. White cheese, homie. If you guys are good tonight, if you're good, I'll rip the roof off with a little white cheddar. If you're good, I'll watch you. I brought enough for everybody. Yeah. White cheddar, the greatest ever, like to be licked like a stamp on a letter. A little bit. It's a little tiny bit right there. But if you're good, white chicken, chicken and cheese. Streets are scary for a white boy. That's why you got to stay gangster. Yeah. G'd up from the feed up. <laughs> Anybody makes eye contact with me on the street, I just go like this. <laughs> you see this? Yeah. Walk away, old man. Walk away. You gotta watch that move if you've been drinking too much. Cause there is a fine line between thug and pigeon. <laughs> Streets are scary for a white boy. All across Canada. I just moved to Toronto, didn't know the city very well, went downtown and got an apartment. I saw this apartment, looked fine on the outside, fine on the inside, got the place, and then it became nighttime. <laughs> and there are hookers everywhere. <laughs> and I tried not let it affect me. I tried not let it bring me down. But there's the same transsexual hooker in front of our building every single night. Like every night. Like she has the most incredible work ethic. You know, she's like. <laughs> and I have to pass her every night. We always have the exact same conversation. Every single night, it's always the same. She always goes, uh, Are you sure you don't want a date tonight, sweetie? <laughs> Tougher, meaner, scarier. I tried. I had a shaved head for the last 10 years. I rocked a shaved head, but ah, I would get so self-conscious. I didn't look tough at all. Like, I had to stop wearing my Winnipeg Jets jersey, because with the team gone and my shaved head, I looked like a sick kid with one last wish. <laughs> See the Jets play? <coughs> Canada is very multicultural. You can meet women from all over the world. There are many advantages to dating outside of your race. My girlfriend's Vietnamese. It gives me street credit. <laughs> That's right. If we get married, we're going to take her last name. Yeah, Samuel Allen Boo, sucker. <laughs> Walk away, old man. <laughs> ah, Winnipeg, you guys have been good. Let me ask you. You guys want to see a little white cheddar up in here? Yeah. Okay. I'm also one of the best beatboxers on the planet. I'm one of the greatest, uh, White Cheddar, a.k.a. MC No Joke. Uh, I'm the truth. Uh, I'm one of the greatest, except I was uh, recently diagnosed with asthma. And uh, 
It's so sad. I'll be in the cut killing it, right? I'll be like, white cheddar, white cheddar. <laughs> so sad. So I can't do that for you. But I will drop a quick freestyle. <clears throat> mm. White cheddar is ferocious, the mostest, the closest. Breaking rappers down like cystic fibrosis. <laughs> hip hopping it, zip hopping it, ticking it, talking it, ripping it, rocking it. Got a big hammer with a mushroom head on top of it. <laughs> Don't talk a bit, reach into my pocket. It doesn't taste like chocolate. If you like it, then you got to put a ring on it. <laughs> Heard it straight from white cheddar's M O U F E from his mouth. <laughs> from his mouth. <laughs> Little white cheddar up in Winnipeg, oh no! Hey, uh, thank you guys so much, you guys be incredible. Peace, thank you. Coming up, Derek Sagan adds a little poutine to his routine on whose Canada is it anyway? It's the CBC Winnipeg Comedy Festival.